What's goody in the hoodie, baby? You too. It's your boy, Cream Team, and I'm back in this once again. Just got finished uploading my, my video about eating the little eggs and shit. Uh, lately, it's been like kind of blowing up, not blowing up yet, but it's slowly but surely it's blowing up and it's gonna get blown up soon. But this big brand named Gucci, obviously I can't wear it. I'm not rich. I'm broke. I'm broke. So obviously I'm not wearing Gucci, but they have been getting some backlash lately because they recently released a long turtleneck black sweater that comes up to right here and it's cut off with some red lips and it pretty much resembles like a black person, which is racist and i'm gonna keep it a whole hundred stack with y'all that shit ugly as f like and instead of getting compliments they've been getting a lot of criticism back on twitter on any any platform that they put the sweater out to display and it immediately it immediately it came off online like they stopped selling it i have a picture right here to you know so you guys can see that shit the shit cost 890 dollars bro this sh for a second let's just forget like you know how racist this shit is just look how garbage this shit is $890 bro who in the f and it's crazy cuz they got a white girl wearing that sh they do this especially Gucci Gucci is doing this to like you know the black community and it's crazy cuz you know the black rappers the the high-end people the people who have more of a platform that they're promoting their stuff cuz they're obviously always gonna wear that designer and then it's now like they fucking lost everybody they're gonna lose everybody they lost fucking big Draco the nigga that's hiding his kid from the world but his world wanna hide from the kid Dre Dre Boy, and in terror for the notice, Gucci is canceled. I'm shocked and I'm appalled and I feel disrespected. I supported y'all brands. I spent hundreds of thousands of dollars and y'all came out with a shirt with blackface on. Gucci is canceled. We're only rocking Fendi headbands from now on. Fendi everything and fashion over. Fendi fashion over drip. And then you know you got my man Tip T.I. He's always been a voice. The voice of the black community because he's a, a fucking OG. Salute to T.I. He has some two words to say about that shit too. People who have the least amount of inclusion the people who get the the least amount of respect we buy the most shit you dig what i'm saying so we don't have to force them to like us we don't have to force them to accept us but what we do have to do is stop spending our motherfucking money with people who gonna continue to give you their ass to kiss why in the fuck you do that for what for what the only reason gucci had it because we made that shit hot if we stop wearing that shit today that shit tank Period. Man, they want to dress like us. They want to dress like us. They want to wear their shoes like us. They want to wear their hats like us. You know what I'm saying? They want to dress like us. We run this shit, period. This is every time a fucking high-end company does this and they get some backlash for doing some racist ass Obviously, they're going to apologize. This is what Gucci said. We consider diversity diversity to be a fundamental value to be fully upheld, respected, and at the forefront for every decision we make. We are fully committed to increasing diversity throughout our organization and turning this incident into a powerful learning moment for the Gucci team and beyond. So basically what they're saying is they're going to use this fuck up to learn. Bro, like, why do you need to get to this fuck up to learn? Like, it's clear as a deer in headlight. This just don't look right. Why the fuck would you get there? I don't get how, how these big companies like this just crash and burn so hard like this. It just goes to show like, you know, the people that are, are, are in charge and, and making these designs and shit like that. It shows their true colors and, and you know, they're actually big salute to everybody who's stopped. Gonna stop wearing their, their, uh, their products, so it's obviously gonna, gonna take a decrease in sales. Hey, Gucci, you f***ed up. And this shit is whack, bro. Like, it's ugly. The, the message behind it is, is disgusting. I don't know, man. You see, this is why I don't wear nothing designer. You know, it's not because I can't afford it. It is because I can't afford it. Either way, if I had money, I probably wouldn't be buying Gucci, Louis, Prada, all that stuff. You know, I stay at the thrift store with it, baby. Save your money. Save your money, stack your money up. Get your money right and keep it going. That's it. All right, so that's pretty much it for the video. I didn't make like a little skit. I didn't do a challenge. I didn't do something funny. It's just something I, I feel like I wanted to talk about because I saw it and then I just want to add my two cents in about the whole situation because I think it's fucked up. You know, it, it's not right and I think other people should be aware of how racist some of these fucking companies can be. But I, I do hope you guys did enjoy the video. You know, I hope you guys aren't like send mixed emotions to you guys because I, you know, I did come in strong only because, you know, I, I stand strongly behind like not with 
all that racist shit. Like, I hate it. But, you know, I do hope you guys did enjoy it. Please leave a like in the video, as always. Comment, just let me know. What do you guys think about this whole situation? Sound off in the comment section below. And, as always, subscribe, you know, join the family. Help me grow. Help, let's grow together as one. You always hit that little bell notification down below so you can get notified whenever I drop another video. Uh, yeah, man, that's pretty much it for me. It ain't really much else I can say. I hope you guys have a blessed one. I will too. And I will keep these videos rolling. I promise. Peace.